hello everyone in today's video tutorial we are working with tables in our slides so we shall learn how we can insert tables in a slide using the insert tab and the place holder so let's begin by uh, inserting a table from the insert tab and before we can insert we have to specify which slide we want to insert the table so i will access my slide which is just below here then to insert this table we shall go to the insert tab then from the insert tab we have this table group where we see table so we shall click on that option so when we click on it just like we insert tables in other applications so here we can decide to specify the uh, the number of columns and rows just using this very area we see on the screen so as you move your mouse uh, pointer on these different uh, boxes you can see that even in the slide the table is being are drawn there so assuming you want to insert a table with around uh, five columns so you just count one two three four five then with two rows this is the first then second so you count and then just click and you'll have the table inserted within the slide of your choice so when the table is inserted you can decide to move this table to the right position you want just like we move the pictures so you click hold and then drag the table then you place it where you want it to be you can still adjust on the size of this table using these points that we see on the screen so whenever a table is inserted in uh, a slide then we have this design tab and the layout tab added to this tab area so these two tabs help you to work with the table in the way you may want so you have now the table inserted you can click in that table to insert the content you would like to add in the table assuming you want to add the to type the types then you can say types of topology then to move to this uh, next cell you just press on the tab key or click there maybe you want to look at the advantages of that given topology you want to look at the disadvantages of that given topology so in this instance we can see that some letters have been moved down here so you can still adjust the size of a given column by using these column borders so if you have any information you want to go ahead with adding to this table then you just go ahead and add that information for instance you want to talk about maybe the characteristics of a given topology so you type characteristics and you just go ahead and adjust on the column uh, border and you'll have the text added the way you want so that's how we can insert a table using the insert tab option so from here you can continue adding that information you would like to add within your table then sometimes you may want to change the table style so when you want to change the table style then we just go to the design tab from the design tab we have got table styles group so these are the different 
table styles that you can decide to apply to the table you have inserted. There are a number of them, so I will click to display those different table styles that you can decide to work with when you have inserted a table in your slide. So you just move and make choice on the kind of uh, style you want. So when you feel that is the style you need, you just click and you'll see that style applied to the table in your slide. But to apply that style, you have to ensure that at least you have selected uh, the table in the slide. If the table is not selected, if I can click aside, then we shall see that the design tab and the format tabs are not available from this tab area. They will only appear when this table is selected. If you want to add the rows and columns, you can still do so. Assuming you want to add a, a column between this uh, column for disadvantages and this one of characteristics what you do you can select any of them so so after selecting then you go to the layout tab so from the layout tab you'll work with the rows and columns group what you have to take note of is that columns are always inserted either to the left or to the right so when you select uh, this uh, uh, co uh, column of characteristics and you want to insert a column between disadvantages and characteristics it means that you have to insert or use this option for insert left so when you cl click on insert left then this program will know that you would like to insert that column to the left of the selected one so that's why we see this column are uh, inserted there just like i said you can still go ahead and adjust on these uh, borders and you have your text fixed uh, fit on the column heading then to insert the rows you can just click on the row then rows can be inserted either below or above assuming we have here some text for example we have ring topology so you want to go ahead and insert a row above this this row so what you do you can leave it as it as it is since it is already having the cursor so then you go to the uh, layout tab. From the layout tab, you'll say that I would like to insert my row above. So when you click on insert above, then you'll have the row inserted there. Then you can now type that information you'd like to type, for instance, bus topology. So that's how we can insert the rows and the columns assuming you don't want a given a uh, column that means you'd like to delete that column what you do is for instance you don't want this column you can just select after selecting by clicking then you'll go to the delete button still in the rows and columns group then when you go to that delete button you'll specify what would you want to delete. I would like to delete this column. So you click delete columns. Then that column will be deleted. Likewise, if it is a row, you can click. Then you go to the delete option. Then you specify, I would like to delete a given row. So you, de you delete rows and that row which is selected will be deleted from your table so now let's look at how we can insert a table from the placeholder so to insert a table from the placeholder we shall use a new slide so we shall just click below here and then we try to create a new slide 
So we shall click on that type of slide. Then within this slide, we have this placeholder. So in this placeholder, we have this button to insert the table. So when you click on this button, it will display for you this insert table uh, dialog box where you will go ahead and specify the number of columns you want in the table you are going to insert in the slide where you will also go ahead and specify the number of rows you want in that very table so to specify the number of rows you can just use these buttons to increase the number of rows or this one to decrease the number of rows then likewise to the number of columns you can just do the same or click uh, this arrow pointing down to reduce on the number or else you can click inside and delete the information then type that number you want so after specifying as we can see you go ahead and click on ok so when you click on ok then the table will be inserted into the slide just like we did from the other side so you can still go ahead and do whatever thing you would like to do with the table you can enter the data you want to enter in the table you can move this table to the point you want you can reduce on the size of the table the way you want it so all that you may want to do to the table that you have inserted you can do you can change also the table styles for instance if you go to that or use this you click then the style will be applied to that table you can work with these other options as we can see from the screen you can as well work still with the layout tab whereby you can delete the rows and columns you don't want in that table you can add the rows and you can also add the columns and a lot of other options that we see from the ribbon i only encourage you to try to use these different uh, features that we see from both the layout tab and the design tab while you're working with the table that is inserted within your slide hope this video tutorial has been helpful to you that's it for now see you in our next tutorial